Let's see what Yates does. He's under pressure. Fumble! Scooped up. And LSU's got it. Because of the pressure, I think... I think he underestimated the speed of Matthew. The sad part is we talked about the cushion to the bottom. He had an open receiver, and if he saw him, he had a first down. Well, ball comes loose. And it looks like Mississippi State recovered at the 29. Tyron Matthew knocked it loose. Oh, when you look back at this, he wanted to throw Peterson's guy. Peterson had this guy blanketed, and that's what caused the rush to get there. Watch, he wants to throw it. He can't, he can't throw it. Peterson did a great job of covering for the Tigers. Play action. But as they roll the pocket, got a man, and it is picked off at the 40-yard line. He intercepts and picks up every fumble that ever happens. Well, he, he's already caused... Uh, Forced three fumbles this year. This time they keep it on the ground with Moody. And Emmanuel Moody falls out. Ball comes out. Yeah, it came out. That Let's was, see who's got it. That was Tyron Matthew, number 14, LSU. who ripped the ball out. He came from behind, intentionally went for the football. Watch number 14 from behind. Doesn't go for the tackle, goes for the strip, gets the ball out, and then he recovers it as well. Full service. Yeah. Cornerback there is Tyron Matthew. They love this kid. True freshman from New Orleans. Three, five, they will. Masoli has to get rid of it quickly. And that allows Tyron Matthew. He was forced to play three different true freshmen, and they all came through. Play clock at three. Aggie's got the snap away. Here comes the pressure. Ball is knocked away from Tannehill. And it. A tremendous young man. Amazing. He now plays football for three years. And Tyron Matthew, you can talk about him all day, Daryl. In your coverage, but then you make a great interception. Wow. So Tannehill picked off only three times all season in his six games at quarterback. He's thrown three interceptions today. Aggie fans, he befriended during his club's visit to a local hospital. Earlier this week, here's Tyron Matthew after the big hit, and he takes it in. You see the hit by Tyron Matthew right there, knocks the ball loose, then just picks the pocket. What a fantastic game he's had. Hudson Prelo. Barner is back deep again for the Ducks, and this is a beautiful punt. Back to the 15, running backwards, loose, free ball, touchdown, LSU, Matthew picks it up and runs in, and LSU strikes. Tell you something, when you need a play, you turn to your playmaker, Matthew, who last year as a freshman made it happen, and he gets off to a huge start here as a sophomore campaign. Backfield for West Virginia. Gino under pressure, completes it. The battle for the first down. And taken away by Matthew. Matthew stripped him. Game. I, I really think he's the closest thing to Ed Reed that we have. He's a corner, but he plays nickelback. They execute. They, they hit the pass. It looks like they have a chance. Anytime you fight for extra yards against this defense, they're going to go after the football. And Matthew strips it out of there for the Tigers to get the football back. And Starks was the receiver. Now, look at That's what you see on Sunday football. Exactly. I mean, he took it away. Do you remember, folks, where you're watching again? Make him throw short. Matthew deflected, picked off. Matthews down to about the one yard line. Matthew he comes on the blitz, recognizes the play, smacks it, puts it up in the air. And if you're an LSU fan, you've been seeing this now since he was a freshman last year. You're used to this. I got news for you. College football needs to pay attention to number seven at LSU. He's one of the most dynamic playmakers in all of college football. I keep using the comparison. Ed Reed. LSU bringing the heat. Loose football. Scooped up at the corner. Matthew will score. The guy just makes plays. If there's ever a year where a defensive player would win the Heisman, it's Tyron Matthew right here. Scooping it up. He's just notorious. <laughs> Brissett goes deep right side for DeBose. There's Ty Tyron Matthew back. He got and it. He got he it. Got it. Of course. I'll tell you.
For Nebraska, of course, Charles Woodson. He lets him peek back to see where DeBose is. And once he gets his hands on the ball, it's his. Not many defensive players, especially defensive backs, have that type of ball skills like Tyron does. And here's Matthew back and another effective one. Matthew breaks a tackle, breaks another, gets a block. There are no flags and the race is on. And Matthew goes 90. In the SEC championship game against a very, very good Georgia team, there's a fumble. Picked off by Matthew. Boy, does he know how to do that well. Tyron Matthew looks for blocking help. <laughs> the Honey Badger. He rips it, and he catches it. He was on the endangered species list for about a month. But he takes what he wants. Oh, another dandy. Matthew backs up, grabs it at the 38-yard line. Looks for a little blocking help. Gets it. Breaks a tackle. Cuts left. Avoids a teammate. Heads for the corner. He's done it again. Sure did. Matthew moves up, grabs it at the 36. Watch out. Now he'll start back. Oh, a stutter step. He's still going. Oh, my gracious.